I still remember the first time I came to Eastman on my audition weekend. I walked into Eastman Theater and I just knew this was it. This was where I had to be. I was thrilled when I was asked to give this speech. However, I had a problem. I love Eastman so much and had so many memories from the past four years, I had no idea where to start. Then, in a sudden epiphany, I decided to collect them in an a la David Letterman list of our top 10 at Eastman. 10 is for the tens of thousands of dollars we've all spent on tuition. <laughs> I would like to take this moment to thank all of our families for paying those tens of thousands of dollars onto our children. <laughs> Without your support from day one, none of us would be walking across this stage today. You bought us instruments and lessons, you attended hundreds of concerts and shows, and you never stopped believing in us and our dreams. Thank you. Nine is for a ballet in nine tableau, a year in the life of Eastman Freshman. For those of you that have no idea what that means, I will explain. <laughs> this was one of the most outrageous, elaborate, and fun times I've had here. During orientation week for the class of 2014, the Eastman Orientation Committee decided to choreograph an epic ballet for the Big Zip recital. The ballet highlighted such important emotional milestones of freshman year at Eastman. First love, new friends, exams, and the quintessential Rochester welcome, snow. This collaboration was fun, but most importantly, it revealed a very significant life lesson. Absolutely none of us will have future careers as dancers. <laughs> Eight is for our eight semesters of lessons and ensembles. Eastman may have glittering chandeliers and gold paint, but it is the teachers here that make us shine. They truly are the backbone of this school. Our teachers are our mentors, our sounding boards, and our most important critics. You not only help us become better musicians, you make us better people. There is a quote by William Arthur Ward that says it best. The mediocre teacher tells, the good teacher explains, the superior teacher demonstrates, the great teacher inspires. Thank you all for inspiring us. Seven is for the seventh oh. <laughs> Seven is for the seven days of sunshine we get per year. <laughs> Even in the middle of May, Rochester can be in the low 40s with the chance of snow, just to make sure that you didn't forget the previous winter. Six is for 60 years of the Eastman Wind Ensemble and other important birthdays. Over the past four years, we've seen many changes and quite a few important anniversaries along the way. Eastman turned 90, Wind Ensemble turned 60, the 50th anniversary of the Philharmonious Tour of Poland, the Near East, and the Soviet Union, and the Arts Leadership Program turned 15. Five is for the five semesters of theory. No elaboration is needed because we all remember. Four is for the average number of trips per day an Eastman student will go to Java's. Thanks for getting us through exams, 8.30 a.m. classes, colds, papers, and four winters in Rochester. I really will miss your coffee. Three is for the three major construction sites during our time here. <laughs> when we first arrived in 2009, Hatch Recital Hall was some scaffolding and a few wooden planks. Eastman Theater was closed for renovation and Kilbourne Hall was doing as best as it could. <laughs> Our patience was rewarded. We have the three most beautiful halls in the world. No other school can compete. 
From the ensemble concerts on this stage to amazing guest artists and student recitals in Kilbourne and Hatch, we will never forget performing and attending concerts in these spaces. Seriously, we were spoiled. Two is for two concepts to think about today. In October, during Eastman weekend, the Fifth House Chamber Ensemble gave an ALP workshop called Putting Your Audience Center Stage. At the start of the workshop, they gave us two sheets of paper and some crayons. At the end, they gave us 60 seconds and told us to take one sheet and draw our voice as it is now. I was really stumped by this request and had no idea what to draw. A larynx or some vocal cords? How do you draw your voice? Next, they asked us to draw our voice as we wanted it to be. The results were quite fascinating and wholly unique to each person. These are the concepts I would like to encourage you to think about. What is your voice now and what do you want it to be? How will you make your own impact on the world around you? No matter what your future career may hold, we all have our own voice that is like no one else's. Embrace yours and shape it. One is for one Eastman family. My high school, like many others, asked each graduating senior to include a quote next to their name in the yearbook. I remember constantly thinking about what my quote should be and what it would mean to others reading it. I didn't want to just put any quote. I really wanted it to be special. I think the quote I chose still rings true today and probably always will. It is from Harry Potter and is spoken by Albus Dumbledore. It is not our abilities that make us who we are. It is what we choose to do with those abilities. We all have an ability and a talent to create beautiful music, and it is not our talent that defines us, but what we choose to do with that talent. No matter where we are, nor where we will go, nor what we will do, we will always be joined by our passion for music. Although we soon depart, no distance and no amount of time will ever change the fact that we will always and forever have Eastman. Thank you. A production of the University of Rochester. Please visit us online and subscribe to our channel for more videos.